Hello everyone. My name is Xu Yuan. I'm from UESTC. Our title is Fine Grain Secure Attribute Based Encryption. It's a joint work with Jia Xinpan and Yu Chen. For cryptographic scheme, we usually require that an anonymous party can run the scheme in polynomial time, and the scheme can be secure against polynomial time adversaries. By now, there have been a great deal of works constructing cryptographic schemes that are secure based on one-way functions, factoring, discrete logarithm, DDH, LWE, or even the existence of generic groups and algebraic groups. However, we do not know whether these assumptions hold, so it's desirable to use no assumptions or mild complexity worst case assumptions so that we can still have cryptography even if, for example, one way functions do not exist. But in the long history of cryptography, it has turned out that this is quite difficult. Fine grained cryptography gives us a direction in approaching this problem. Instead of considering polynomial time on its parties and adversaries, we only require that an on its party uses less resources than adversaries. And the resources of an adversary, such as the running time, the memory, and the circuit depth, can be a prior bounded. Under this setting, it's possible to make the underlying assumption extremely mild and make the scheme very efficient. This field was initialized by Merkle, and there have been many fine-grained primitives proposed, such as key exchange, one-way functions, PKE, verifiable computation, hash proof systems, and trapdoor one-way functions. But notice that there are still many important fine primitives that are not known to exist, such as signature. In this work, we propose the first fine secure AB scheme, which is secure against adversaries with bounded circuit depth. It borrows the BKP framework by Blazer and others, which constructs IB from a fine max and the CHW framework by Chen and others, which constructs AB from predicate encodings. We first propose a fine-grained version of the FIMAC in the BKP paper and generalize it by using parts of a predicate encoding. And then we combine it with other parts of the encoding with some new techniques to construct AB schemes. Our construction essentially implements a dual system in the fine grain setting. The proof for the MAC and the generic construction of our AB switch functional user secret keys and functional ciphertexts to semi functional ones, respectively. Similar to the work of CHW, by instantiating the underlying encoding in different ways, we obtain an IB scheme which in turn implies a signature scheme, and AB schemes supporting various types of Boolean predicates, and also broadcast encryption and fuzzy IB in the fine grain setting. All the instantiations are computable in AC02 and secure against adversaries in NC1. The assumption is that NC1 is not equal to parity L slash poly. This assumption is widely believed to hold. Also, we know that all the computations are over GF2. This setting is exactly the same as the boundary circuit setting in previous works on fine grained cryptography. Here, AC02 includes circuits with constant depth polynomial size and unbounded fine using and, or, not, and parity gates. NC1 includes circuits with logarithmic depth, polynomial size, and fine to gates. Note that NC1 includes AC02. Parity L poly include log space Turing machines with parity acceptance. 
we now recall the definition of ABK, which can be easily converted to ABE by using a symmetric key encryption. An ABK consists of four algorithms. The first one is Jing, which takes as input the security parameter and lambda and outputs a public key PK and a secret key SK. The user key generation algorithm takes as input a secret key SK of value Y and outputs a user secret key USKY. The encryption algorithm takes as input the public key of value X and outputs a ciphertext and also a session key. The decryption algorithm takes as input the user secret key of value X and the ciphertext CT and outputs the session key. Correctness holds if the session key K can be correctly recovered by DEC, which is the decryption algorithm, if P X Y is equal to 1. Here P is the Boolean predicate. This is the security game. The adversary takes as input the public key and makes many queries Y to obtain user secret keys and also makes one query X to obtain the challenge ciphertext and also the corresponding session key K star. Security holds if K star is indistinguishable from randomness when P X Y is not equal to one for all queried Y. IBKM is a special case of ABKM where the predicate is restricted to be the equality predicate and can be easily converted into IBE. For simplicity, in this presentation, we only give the high level idea on how we construct an IBE. Our construction of fine grained IBE borrows the BKP framework. Recall that in this framework, the IBE is constructed from an affine MAC which is secure under the MDD assumption. The construction heavily relies on the asymmetric pairing and it's necessary to compute the inverse of a matrix in the security proof. However, we have no pairing and MDD assumption in NC1. And we cannot compute the inverse of a matrix in the NC1 world. We now need to find the counterpart of the MDD assumption. Although the assumption that NC1 is not equal to parity L poly does not directly give us tools to construct cryptographic schemes, Dick Wicca and others showed that this assumption implies the indistinguishability of two distributions, which are 0 SAMP and 1 SAMP, against NC1 adversaries. Here, zero SAMP outputs rank deficient matrices, and one SAMP outputs full rank matrices. And Agastra and others showed that this implies a hard subset membership problem. This problem says that it's hard to distinguish a vector sampled from some PS and a vector from some no for an NC1 adversary. Let M0 top be the inputs of some PS and some no where M0 is from 0 SAMP. Some PS samples vectors from the span of M0 top, where some no samples vectors outside the span of M0 top. Next, I will give the construction of our affine MAC. The construction of our affine MAC is similar to the one in the BKP construction. The secret key consists of a matrix B whose transposition B top was sampled from zero SAMP, a sequence of random vectors X0 to Xn and random bit X prime. The tag consists of two parts, T and U. T is a vector sampled from the span of B. And U is computed by an affine equation of x i top t and x prime with coefficients derived from the message which is denoted by id here. In the security game, the adversary queries messages and obtains the corresponding tags. At some point, 
it makes a challenge query id star and obtains a token which consists of h0 and x prime x prime is part of the secret key and h0 is also computed by an affine equation security holds if x prime is indistinguishable with the random bit when id star is not equal to all the queried messages the security proof follows from the fact that when switching the distribution of t from some psb to some no b x prime is information theoretically hidden in u due to linear independence we omit the details here and please see our paper for more details next i will give the construction of our ibkm Let's recall two facts given by Agashira and others at first. Let M0 be a matrix sampled from 0 samp and M1 be a matrix sampled from 1 samp. The distribution of M0 top plus N is identical to the distribution of M1 top. Here N is a matrix with the bottom left entry being 1 and the other entries being 0. Another fact is that the distributions of M0 top R0 and M0 top R1 are identical, where R0 is a run vector with the first bit fixed as 0, and R1 is a run vector with the first bit fixed as 1. We now give the construction of our IBKM. The key generation algorithm samples the transposition of a matrix A from 0 sump and the secret key of our affine MAC. Then it commits to the vectors xi by computing yi top xi times a. It also commits to the run bit x prime in the secret key in the same way. The public key consists of a and the commitments. The secret key consists of a secret key of the underlying MAC and the randomness yi and y prime used to commit to the values. The user key generation algorithm generates a tag of the affine MAC and computes an affine equation of yit and y prime to generate a vector v. v can be treated as a proof that the tag was correctly computed. The encryption algorithm first samples a random vector with the first bit being 0 and vectors c0 and c1. c0 is a r and C1 is computed by an affine equation of ZIR. The session key K is equal to Z prime R. The decryption algorithm is designed similar to the BKP framework, but notice that the pairing is not necessary now since the computations are not in the groups. The crucial step in the security game is to construct a reduction break in the security of the underlying of my mic. And at the core of the proof, we developed a new technique to extract the forgery of the of my mic from the adversary. More specifically, we switched the distribution of the matrix A twice and changed the distribution of the randomness R during the switching procedure. We now give the sketch of our security proof by using several hybrid games. Game 0 is the original game, where the adversary obtains the public key and makes ID queries. At some point, it makes a challenge query ID start to receive a ciphertext consisting of C0, C1, and also the corresponding session key. Game 1 is the same as game 0, except that we additionally add A with the constant matrix N we mentioned before to generate C0, C1, and K. One can check that when the first bit of R is 0, then R is equal to 0. So this does not change the view of the adversary at all. In the next game, we switch the distribution of A top to 1 sump. This does not change the view of the adversary due to the indistinguishability between 1 sample and 0 sample. 
we now fix the first bit of R as 1 instead of 0. Notice that A plus N top is a matrix from 0 sample now, and the fact about 0 sample we mentioned before shows that this change does not affect the distribution of A plus N R. Also notice that Y0 top X0 times N R is equal to X0, and y prime top x prime times n r is equal to x prime instead of a zero matrix now. This allows us to extract x zero and x prime from c one and k later. Next, we switch the distribution of a top back to zero sum. In game five, which is the last game. We do not use the randomness yi and the secret xi to generate zi anymore. Instead, we generate zi as 0 di r0 top. di is equal to yi top plus xi s top, and it reveals new information on xi. And r0 and s are intermediate values used by 0 sample and they are independent with yi and xi. Also, we can redefine z prime in the same way. Now we can prove that v reveals no information on the secrets except for u, which is a tag of the affine mac. Also, we can prove that c1 reveals no information on xi except for x0 plus the sum of i d i x i. This is exactly part of the token in the security game for the affine mic. This allows us to make use of the security of affine mic to show that X prime, which is another part of the token, is indistinguishable from randomness, which means that the session TK can be switched to randomness. By doing the steps in the reverse order, we can prove that k is indistinguishable from randomness in the original game, which completes our proof. Also notice that in the security proof, we did not compute the inverse of matrix and all the computations are in C1. Otherwise, the proof does not hold. We also show that the red parts of our IB came essentially use the encoding for equality and can be generalized as predicate encodings proposed by CHW. In this way, we can generalize our IB came as an AB came. This extension can also be used in the standard world, not only the fine-grained world. This is the conclusion of our work. We proposed a generic construction of fine green AB scheme secure against NC1 adversaries and computable in AC02. The assumption is a worst case complexity assumption, which is very mild. It has many types of instantiations, including a fine green IB and a fine green signature scheme. Also, we know that our techniques can also be used to construct an efficient fine-grained QNISC. Please see our paper for more details. Thank you for your attention.